Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to export Asana tasks to Google Sheets. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in Asana, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just to follow the on screen instructions, and you're good to go. Exporting Asana tasks to Google Sheets is a straightforward process that can be useful for reporting, data analysis, and sharing project updates in a more versatile format. Now, once you are on the homepage of your Asana account, I need you to go to the projects that you are currently working in. All right? In my case, this is going to be about exporting Asana tasks to Google Sheets. Because Google Sheets offer robust tools for analyzing data, Exporting tasks here to Sheets allows you to create custom reports and dashboards to visualize progress and performance, all right? In my case, now, in my case in the past, my experience with working with Google Sheets, once tasks are in Google Sheets, you can use formulas, pivot tables, and other data manipulation techniques to analyze task completion rates, identify or track productivity trends over time. So you have multiple options to export Asana tasks to Google Sheet, for example, this one. All right. All I'm going to do is hover to the drop down menu here on the project actions. You see. And then go to the drop down menu. And there's going to be an option that says export or print. All right. We're not going to print this one, but of course, just export for now. I want you to click the uh, sync to Google Sheets because Google Sheets and um, can be easily shared with others via link providing a simple way to distribute project updates and task information here on Asana, especially for working with the multiple freelancers or new clients or team members within an organization. As you can see, when you create a Google Sheet, copy, paste the link provided above into the sync with Asana. Input the Asana experts add-on. I'm going to click on this one for now. All right, we'll just have to follow the on-screen instructions. The export link has been copied to the clipboard. And as you can see, these are what's going to happen. You can automatically update your task change, includes task and subtask, updates a task in Asana, take up to six hours, all right, to reach Google Sheets. So you have to make sure you read the, and understand this part. Please note that anyone with this link has access to your task, so be careful on how you share it, all right? But for now, click on the Asana experts. What will happen is you would be forwarded here in another section wherein you have been forwarded here on the Google Workspace Marketplace, all right? So there's a lot of that you can see here. But of course, we're not going to deal with that. But instead, you might want to read some of the information here. Asana is the easiest way to manage your tasks and projects. That's right. So all we're going to do is click on Install. So you can export data from Asana to Google Sheets and keep it automatically in sync and up to date. Click on that. Now, after that, all you got to do is allow Asana exports to view and manage spreadsheets that this application has been installed in. Connect to an external service and click on allow. Just wait for it. As you can see, Asana exports has been installed. Now, this is where you can find the Asana exports. You can find Asana exports as a Google spreadsheet add-on. So let's do that right now. Click on done. And then now, once you have switch to your google spreadsheet for example this is the file that i'm currently working with and you can find the uh google sheet here you should have um see the extension here all you're gonna do is make sure that you click on the add-ons and click the get add-ons in this case we're going again to the google workspace uh, workspace marketplace and search for the app and that's gonna be asana you see that click on it of course these are going to be the uh google workspace marketplace i want you to click on that just wait for it and it's the same thing as earlier click on install and wait for it to load hopefully this will going to be successful right now now in this case if you're encountering uh, a bad request error 400 there are two things that is happening one is you make sure you have an active and stable internet connection or you're not using vpn because that could interfere with the uh integration all right and let me just ref uh, refresh i'm gonna i'm gonna press 
control plus F5 or F5 to see what's going to happen. I want to make sure that I have already the extension. As you can see, I have the uh, app script. All right. Now I'm going to click on manage add-ons to make sure that the Asana has been added here. As you can see, it's already been added. I'm going to install this one. But for now, the next thing that we're going to do is switch over again to the Asana to make sure we have successfully created this report. Now here again, all I'm going to do is hover to the project actions. I'm going to export and sync to Google Sheets. We have already done that. Click that. Now, as you can see, we need to copy this link and go to the sync with Asana input on the Asana export add-on. All right, let's do that. Now, in this case, go to extensions, add-ons, and there's going to be the Asana exports. Click on sync with Asana. It's working. There's going to be a status bar. Enter or enter a project, portfolio, or search export link. In my case, I'm going to put in the URL link earlier. Click on that and it's already, the status is up on the bottom. It's working. Just wait for it to load. And there's that. That's magically how you can export tasks to Google Sheets, all right? Now, if you wanted a more control over the exporting Asana tasks to Google Sheet, there is one platform that comes into mind, which is going to be Zapier. Now, you see, if you wanted to have like a flexible and multi-purpose kind of automation, right? I want you to go to Zapier because you can connect Asana tasks to Google Sheets and automate your work, all right? If you wanted more flexibility and room to work with it. You can have all of these endless possibilities by clicking on this connect of these apps orange button. If you've done that, what will happen is we need to create our first Zap. Let me rename this as this one. And as you can see, all they're going to do is go to Asana event, all right? You need to uh, choose an event. For example, it triggers when a task has been within a project or any project within a workspace is marked as completed or added task. Click on that. And of course, go to Google Sheets. You're going to make sure that you can export. All right. Click on that. Maybe create a new uh, blank worksheet. All right. After that, all they're going to do is click on continue and just using this. Click on continue. And of course, you can use the drive for that. And that's going to be uh, my Google Drive. Enter the text. All right. Go complete this tab. Connect Asana. Sign in. All right. So you're granting Asana permissions. Click on allow. And after that, all you're going to do is just follow the on screen prompt. Click on continue. You can choose the project. And that's going to be how to export. All right. So it's up to you how to export Asana task. You can choose a value if you wanted. I'm going to be add these guides. Click on continue and you can test your trigger. All right. Click that. You can sit back and relax, authenticate these apps because Zapier will do all the work for you. All right. Just wait for it. As you can see, when you integrate export tasks in Asana, it provides flexibility, enhanced analysis capabilities and better integration with other tools making it a valuable practice for project managers and teams looking to optimize their workflows and data management strategies. All you're going to do is continue with the selected record and that's that, all right? And of course, by keeping task records in sheets is useful for documenting project workflows, assignments, and decision-making processes. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.